Parking issue is a chronic problem in Vasco town with no sufficient parking space and pay parking facility available in the port town. Peter Andre, the local from Mangor Vasco, said that the parking issue has become a total mess in Vasco. The municipality has taken several resolutions and discussions to make some section as a pay parking but nothing has happened till date. Peter further stated that the tourist taxi and the renter cab operators have asked favours from the politicians with the same. There was a major announcement saying that we are going to start with pay parking and the uh, municipality uh, uh, chairperson and the uh, uh, traffic department had come up with proposals saying that we are going to start around the municipal area, uh, building area, pay parking facility. But it's been years, nothing has been happening. Now you see the pavements are encroached by shopkeepers, groceries, uh, beggars, vagabonds. All these people are occupying pavements and some of them have come onto the roads. So where do we park? There's no fixed facility for parking. We are just parking wherever haphazardly. Some people have already uh, declared their own parking area like public area parking. This is our parking. Some of them have kept special gates to go inside through the parking area. So if each shopkeeper keeps one one uh, gate, how do we park? So each shopkeeper, around 10 shopkeepers uh, place their gates, uh, those barricades which they have kept. So through them for their clients to pass through, we have no place for parking. Then we have uh, people who are parking uh, four wheelers in two wheelers and two wheelers in four wheeler parking areas. And this is really a mess. And every time you see some action is initiated, we have the MLA or some MP or some politician coming in support of a certain group of people. If they are affected by the action taken, these politicians or MLAs will interfere and say, no, we let us give them a parking area and the matter is gone dead. So this is how we have got a major parking issues in Vasco. If you go to see, there are a lot of accidents happening just because vehicles are parked whichever way they want. It's just been... a uh, announcements and announcements and no action taken. So when will we take real action on this? You want to call it, call this a city as a cosmopolitan city. You call it a cosmopolitan city, then you have to have facilities for the people. How can you say uh, this is a city? You are making this into a bombarded uh, part of Ukraine. Like, where do we park? Everywhere rubble is there. You are creating now the Adani has come with his gas. And some earlier it was Geo who cut the roads. Then you have uh, people who are um, selling fruits and vegetables in parking slots. So do we stay in the city as a citizens or decent people, or do we create continue doing this mess which is uh, being started and continued by our own politicians? You have only announcements and you have no other solutions for these problems that you have created. Created by our own people, our own elected representatives and those who want to be an elected representative. This is the problem here in Moscow. You will continue like this and continue doing the announcements. We will just stay as it is. You should be ashamed to call yourself a city and calling yourself as city fathers. For Prime Video Journalist, Shan Vasco.